Hello guys, welcome back to e Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram. So in this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. This beam has two supports we can see here. The one is hinge support. We can represent it by A and the other one is roller support. We can represent it by B and the portion of the beam which is hanging is being loaded with a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter. So the total length of the beam is 8 meter while only the 3 meter length of the beam has been loaded with a uniformly distributed load. So to find and to draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram, first we have to find out the support reactions that is the reaction at A and B. So first we have to find the support reaction at RA at point A and at point B. So for this reason we have to assume that these support reactions are acting in upward direction is these arrows and this is RA and this is RB and for to find out support reactions we have to take the summation of moment let's suppose at point A is equal to 0. The summation of all moments creating at point A is equal to 0. So what is the formula for moment? the moment can be found out the force multiplying with the moment arm. So by this way we can find the moment. So to take the summation of moment at point A equal to 0, we have to find all the moments at point A. So first of all, let's suppose that the clockwise moment is taken as positive. This is my convention. You can take your own and the anti-clockwise taken as negative. So now this RB, we can see here this force will create the moment negative moment in the anti-clockwise direction so we can take RB is negative RB is force multiplying with the moment arm so the moment arm from for this RB is the distance from this point up to the A point because we are calculating the summation of moment at A so moment arm for RB is 5 now this load is acting downward so it will create the moment in positive direction in the clockwise direction. So this is uniformly distributed load. So first we have to convert into concentrated load. So how we should multiply this load, this two load with the three distance. So we will get the concentrated load and this concentrated load will be acting at the center of this uniformly distributed distance which will be like this way. So how? So this is acting in the clockwise direction so 2 multiplying with 3 we convert this into now into concentrated load and this concentrated load acts at the center of this uniformly distributed load so now the moment arm for this load will be the distance from this middle of the load to the point A which is 5 plus 1.5 means 3 dividing by 2 because this distance is from this middle up to the A point multiplying it with the moment arm which is 6.5 because 1.5 is this distance I divide 3 by 2 1.5 is this and 5 is this distance so it comes out to be 6.5 so it means if we shift this value this hole is equal to 0 if we shift this value to the right side we get RB multiplying with 5 this comes out to be 39 with the negative sign because we transfer it to the right side now this negative sign will be cancelled with the negative and RB comes out to be if we divide this 39 by 5 we get 7.8 kilonewton so it means that the load that the support reaction here at this point is equal to the 7.8 kilonewton now how to find the support reactions at R A at point A. So it is easy. We can find out by this formula the summation of forces, vertical forces equal to zero. So all the upward forces are taken as positive and all the negative forces, downward forces are taken as negative. So the upward forces are R A, I assume this is acting upward, R B I assume is taken as upward, is also taken as positive because it is acting in upward direction. So RA with RB 
while this load 2 kN per meter load is acting downward so it is 2 multiplied with 3 because it is distributed over the distance of 3 meter summation of all vertical force is equal to 0 so now RA will be equal to the if we move this to the right side it will become 6 plus 6 minus RB now RA is equal to the 6 minus Rb is 7.8 so this comes out to be minus 1.8 kN now this shows this negative sign shows that our assume direction is wrong so this negative means that our force Ra support tensions will be acting as downward this Ra will be acting as downward with a magnitude of 1.8 kN so this is the way how to find out the support reactions. Now from these support reactions we will find out, we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. Now for the shear force and bending moment diagram I will draw the reference lines. So these are the reference lines for this beam. This is the horizontal line. Also is the reference line. So the top horizontal line will represent the shear force the shear force in the unit of kN and this will represent the bending moment in the unit of kN meter so now and this line will be 0 0 line because it is the reference line while the above from the 0 will be positive and the below data from the reference line will be taken as negative similarly the above information above the line will be taken as positive and the below information of line will be taken as negative so now as we know that the this support reaction comes out to be 1.8 is acting downward while this support reaction is acting upward 7.8 and this is the load of 2 kN per meter which is a distributed load so for the shear force we have to look to the support reactions in the loading on the beam so starting from this left side so RA is 1.8 which is acting downward so it means we will bring this line from 0 up to the 1.8 this is 1.8 kN because we represent the shear force in the unit of kN so this is the downward reactions at point A which is 1.8 and then there is no load up to the support B so there is no load so we can draw this line horizontally here up to this point now again there is a upward load of 7.8 kN upward load so we should add this 7.8 to the negative of 1.8 so it means 1.8 is negative and we should add this with 7.8 so it comes out to be plus 6 so it means plus shows that we should draw this above the reference line so this will bring it to the plus 6 this is now plus 6 because it is from the subtraction in addition of this data we get positive 6 so we draw this reference this lines of the shear force from the one negative 1 1.8 to the positive 6 now again there is a distributed load acting in downward direction so we should calculate this load this load is 2 multiplying with 3 comes out to be 6 2 multiply with 3 comes out to be 6 6 but this load is again acting in downward direction same as 1.8 so this 6 is negative so when negative I add this negative with the plus 6 so it comes out to be 0 here that's why I will bring it here like in this way to zero because this load uniformly distributed load cancel this shear force at this point so now this is the shear force for this beam this is negative shear force and this is positive shear force now how to find out and to draw the bending moment from this shear force it is very simple we have just to look to the shear force diagram first we can extend these reference lines now we can calculate the area of the shear forces so we can calculate the bending moment diagram 
so to find out the area of this shear force we can find out the length and the height the height is 1.8 and the length is 5 meter we know this and this is 3 meter we know from here so 1.8 multiplying with 5 here we should multiply this two value we get 9 but this is now negative 9 why because the shear force is below the reference line so it is negative so this is 0 so it is minus 9 so we can bring it here to the minus 9 negative 9 now again what is the area of this shear force we can simply add to this minus 9 we will get our bending moment diagram so the area of this triangle we can see here we can easily find out the height is 6 we can see here height is 6 the length is or the breadth is 3 meter so to find out the area of this triangle it is half base into height 6 into 3 we get 9 but this is acting positive because it is above the reference so it is positive 9 so minus 9 adding with plus 9 we will get 0 it will cancel each other we will get 0 so it means we will get 0 here but now this line will be drawn like parabola in this way so this is now a 2 degree line I will explain now because this line is a 1 degree line inclined line there is a 1 degree line so this bending moment will be a 2 degree line similarly this line is a 0 degree line so this line will be a 1 degree line the bending moment diagram line should always be 1 degree greater than the shear force line so in shear force this was 0 degree so in bending moment it is 1 degree in shear force it is 1 degree in bending moment it will be 2 degree it will be always 1 degree greater than the shear force and this is the whole bending moment diagram for this beam and according to this we can provide our reinforcement in the beam which is which will be provided according to the maximum bending moment of 9 kilonewton meter hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video